Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and this is going to be the comprehensive guide for the Forest of Echoes. So at this point, we have got everything unlocked, so we're going to be able to get all the triumphs for the Forest of Echoes. So we've got the mysteries, both Ascendant, Enigmatic, and Trivial Mysteries. We've got all of those Ascendant Mysteries, some we've done before, but we also now have the memory caches to go with everything else. Now, if you need to confirm what you're bringing into the Shattered Realm, your Wayfinder's Compass does need to basically be fully unlocked to be able to do everything that I'm doing the way I am. The extended safe passage, you've got the memory caches unlocked. I've got extra anchors right here. The extended duration of barrier breach. There's also extended duration of true sight somewhere in here, I'm pretty sure. Um, and all of these main abilities. But basically, you're going to want to unlock everything if you're trying to get to most of this, especially the memory caches, which are way out here. Uh, and the duration of safe passage is mostly a bonus. I haven't needed it, but it's going to make things a bit more manageable when we do this the real way. Uh, the other piece you're going to want is going to be Agri Scepter. Now, this is going to be the key to opening the Illusory Walls. And also, if you have got the Catalyst already, which I was finally lucky enough on about my 10th or 12th or 14th, whatever run, uh, I did get this one so you can use that. But this is what you use to break those Illusory Walls. So, let's jump into the Forest of Echoes and check every single box. If you're looking for all of them, here we go. Just a quick reminder for your loadout as well. I'm using a bow for over... Uh, overload, and then a linear fusion rifle for the unstoppables. Need one of each, and I've got Agar Scepter. So, as we go through this, um, basically the order of this goes, there's one anchor that we find along the way. Pretty easy to spot. You can't really miss it. We're going to clear Beacon 1. We're going to do everything that Beacon 1 unlocks. Then we're going to go clear Beacon 2, do everything that Beacon 2 unlocks, and wrap it up. You don't actually have to finish this thing for the video, um, but if you guys want to finish it afterwards, you do need to do a certain number of astral alignments, or sorry, uh, Shattered Realm completions, so you probably should finish it if you get far enough in that you're like two out of three beacons. But as we fall, pretty straightforward stuff. Here we go. And the first anchor is going to be right here, but usually what I do once I get to about here, I'm going to clear these ads out, just makes life a little easier. It's not required, but makes my life a little easier explaining this stuff to you guys. And you might have a few that want to hide on you. That's okay. But the first anchor, as I said, is right here. So if you're looking at church in the big beam of light, anchor one is right here on the left. And we will go around the rocks here. That was a terrible idea. Don't go that direction. Go the way I went. <laughs> go to the right. Don't go through there. Anyway, now you got the slow field. Got a few more ads to clear. I'm going to use my uh, aggro scepter to kill as much of the stuff as I can. Mostly just so I can work on my catalyst progress. And it's a little fun to blow stuff up with ice. You know, gotta love live video recordings. That's always a good time. And if I can get out of the slow, we'll get in here. Okay. Once you get in here, we're gonna clear out beacon one. And then we got a big couple of like figure eight rotations to go through. Show you where everything's at. If you want to know one little secret, before you open the beacon, see this pile of wood right here? You got a illusory wall that you can explode right here. You don't really need it. But we'll get to that later. So just I want you guys to keep that in mind. So beacon one clear. Here we go. All right. So now that we've cleared beacon one, now we're going to go through the big rotation that beacon one unlocked. First one, if you're facing the beacon, turn around. Quick 180. We're going to grab two little buffs here. Nice thing about the extended duration. Nothing is too pressing anymore. Grab your true sight. Grab your barrier breach. And then we're going to head back this direction. We're going to head up there, but we've got some nice new platforms that make this a lot easier. And here is anchor number two. I'm probably going to lose track of the numbers, so forgive me. If you fall down through that hole like I just did, it's not the end of the world. Just jump back up. Done that before. Yeah, there's a little hole over there I keep forgetting. So watch that hole. True sight once again. And what we're doing now is you'll notice you got a few more platforms outside. So we're going to keep climbing and come up here for one of our hidden chests. It's an enigmatic mystery, so we're going to fall down back in where we were. Easiest way to actually get down where I'm going, fall through the hole in the floor. Prime example. And we are back to Beacon 1. Here, we're going to turn 90 degrees to the right, head out this doorway and go clear everything this direction in one big loop before we go to the left. So once you're out here, should be safe to jump for a little bit. We've got another anchor. As we come up here, you should have a few ads waiting for you. 
clear those out first. Just makes your life a little easier over here. Grab any ammo that they drop. And then to make things simple, you can just grab safe passage. And jump up here to this second level. If you don't make it all the way, just jump up first floor. Second floor. And safe passage lets this be pretty easy. Barrier breach. You're just going to fall down through a couple levels and grab the chest. Barrier breach lasts a very long time, so you don't worry too much about having to refresh it. Walk outside, and we're going to turn to our left. That was the area where I entered from. Going opposite where we entered this area from, we're going to grab True Sight. And we're going to run out the backside here. Once you get to normal running, you can start sprinting and flying a little more. Here we go. And we're also coming up on a couple different things. You've got a uh, chest sitting out here in the back. That's an that's a trivial. I don't know the names, but if you do this run, you'll get them all. Refresh True Sight so you don't miss out on what's up here at the top, which is going to be our first memory cache. Can't really miss it if you come this direction. So this is memory cache number one. That is bearings. What you can do is fall down. Now you'll likely, depending on how fast you go, you might want to refresh your true sight and barrier breach. But if you head out the back here, I want to make sure that one actually doesn't go away if it's a true sight chest or not. Okay, so it's not a true sight chest. No big deal. The so barrier breach just lets you get through that wall. Come out here, grab the trivial chests, come back in. Some true sight, some chests are only visible to true sight, and honestly, I'd forgotten if you needed it. If you need a refresh on barrier breach, get that one refilled. Come back inside the castle. You're on the second tier. Grab any ammo if you need it. Might have a few ads here waiting for you. No big deal. And we're going to head out the front. You don't have to turn on safe passage if you don't need it. But if for some reason you did fall down to this level, to get back up here, you would have to turn on field of the suppress the field of strife. So then you could grab barrier breach to go at the back. But if you stayed on the second level, you don't have to go that way. So if you come back outside, we're going to hang a hard left here. So you got this big crooked tree. Go past it. You're going to be in the slowed section, so be careful. But we're going to kind of climb out to this rock here. And you're going to find True Sight. We're going to use this to grab this anchor now just so we don't have to retreat and get to it later on. So grab this anchor. Make a quick U-turn. It's just easier to do it now than do it later. Make sure you got a little height to your jump as you're flying in. Might have to clear a few ads once again. Usually try and find the captains or the knights or whatever's out here. Doing this on Legend difficulty will get interesting, I'm sure. There we go. Now, if True Sight has run low, which it very well could have once you've cleared the ads, come back here, grab yourself a little refresh. And then you're going to want to move a little quicker. You're also going to want to grab Safe Passage so you can actually jump up and do this fast enough. Now, Safe Passage Extended makes this much easier. When it was short, it got to be a bit spicy up here. Once you get high enough, you're out of the uh, safe passage required zone. And up at the top, we do have a chest waiting for us. That is an enigmatic mystery as well. We're going to fall down back towards the church. Make sure you slow your fall so you don't take too much damage as you come down. And we're going to head it back into Beacon 1 as a point of reference once again. All right, so we are back to Beacon 1. This time, guess where we're going? To the left. Only way we haven't gone. You're going to grab this true sight right out here. You're going to start working your way. Try and find one of these like ledges. Get a nice little running start here. Then you can kind of work your way up. You're going to have a little bit to pick up on the way. Got an anchor up here. Going to have some ads that spawn. So just be ready and try and get up to the platform so you're up here. Start clearing out the ads pretty quick. That is why that thing is fun. Okay, point of reference. If you see the church and you're at the closest edge to the church, do a quick U-turn. Now, you're going to want to grab True Sight. And from here, you're going to see this chest. It'll be uh, trivial. 
We're going to go around to the back side, get the second memory cache. This, cache this one is called In Memory. And then the third thing we're going to do is travel and follow that guy. Okay, so after you pick up the relic, sorry for the cut in here, I had to edit this one a little bit together. What you're going to want to do is grab True Sight and come down here with the relic, look for the platforms, and we're going to go the normal path. Now, you may have some enemies down here. I've actually cleared them out. If you want to clear them out before you make this little run that I'm doing right now, just, you know, turn on True Sight, clear the ads, and then come back and pick this thing up. Not a big deal either way, but you don't really get a whole lot of chances to um, basically do what you need to do with this thing. You can't really set it down for very long is the best way I can say it. All right, there's one more anchor that I actually forgot, so I wanted to cut this one in here. Um, currently, in the video that I was progressing through, you're holding the orb. You can still hold the orb, but before you grab Barrier Breach and go through the barrier, just go around the back side of the actual little tomb here. You're going to have an anchor hanging out back. And then just go back where you were, and then we'll get back to the video. But I almost forgot that one. I picked it up before, but almost forgot it. So back to where you were with the relic in Ascendant Mystery number one. We're going to need to invoke Barrier Breach. And now we're going to drop on down. Keep carrying the orb. We're going to come back through here and grab all this stuff, so don't worry about it. Got some enemies. With Barrier Breach, you are invisible. You can pick up this anchor as you pass on by. Keep working your way through. Don't put the ball down, because if you put it down, you really don't get too many chances to pick it back up. So grab True Sight. Refresh Barrier Breach. Should be good on Barrier Breach because it's extended. Follow this guy right here. And here. And my Barrier Breach should still be long enough. Make sure you run over here to the right-hand side and dunk it. And while True Sight is active, my advice, just run back here to this back corner and also grab this chest, which will be a trivial. Now, you're going to have a big knight that spawns once you dunk that. Kill a few of the adds. And just be ready for the big guy who spawns. He's the one who's going to kill you. Now he will disappear. Oh, he's going to land on my head. So that's the big guy. Apocalyptic Knight. And I can kill him fast with the linear fusion rifle. He will probably disappear once on you. Be ready for another spawn adds over here. That's why the scepter is so damn good. If he spawns back in. Again. Goes down pretty fast. See if any more adds get... You know, pop out, and here is your Ascendant Mystery. Was so like from here, one more thing you can do. You can run back this direction. And remember that wall I told you to shoot? Turn around. It's right here. So Beacon 1 is right above me, but we're actually going to go down underneath just to make this a bit more efficient. So you come grab Anchor right up here. Then we're going to fall back down and kind of retrace our steps back through the tomb all the way to kind of honestly to the second phase. But we're going to grab a little bit more as we go. So make sure you already opened your chest. Don't forget about that one. We're going to grab True Sight. We're also going to grab Barrier Breach. And we are going to head back this way and get the rest of the pieces in the tomb. So in here, you might have a couple of adds. No big deal. When you get to this point, turn left. And grab this chest. It's nice, easy, trivial. From here, look up above. You'll see this little, kind of hard to spot little rock up above you. And there's an anchor up here. You can grab this one real quick. There's a slow field above you, so you actually can't jump out. So don't even try. And that's the chest. That's the anchor. And we are going to retreat back out of the tomb, kind of the way we entered it with the ball. And the biggest thing is don't put the ball down and try and kill the enemies. I literally tried that. That's why I had to make the cut in the video. So once you have the orb and you bring it down the steps, pretty much all you need to do is just run over here, even with the orb, grab Barrier Breach, and just keep skipping the enemies. You'll be invisible, so it shouldn't be as bad once you get the Barrier Breach on. So now that we've come out of the tomb and we're facing the tomb, we are going to turn around and do a quick U-turn and head up this direction. So from here, we're going to grab Barrier Breach, or at least refresh it if you don't have it on already. You're going to head back in here. You're likely going to have an enemy over here, so kill them. This is going to be a chest for you. That is a trivial mystery. Fall down here. Likely have an ad over here. I think I killed it already on accident. 
Here's going to be an anchor. And also you've got a nice little wall sitting right here. That's going to be another chest waiting. Any of the chests behind these illusory walls, they tend to give you gear. As opposed to be a trivial or mystery or anything like that. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to invoke barrier breach. And if you're facing the little chest wall, head over here to your left. Also grab true sight. And head out the back door. We're going to grab the anchor on the way. And then don't worry about the stuff over there to the right. We're going to come back and get that later. From here, you're going to have some enemies. But first thing I want to tell you to do is grab true sight. Come up here and grab this memory. This cache contains and that is all three memories, actually. Now we can clear a bunch of ads again. This is such a fun weapon to use. Tie two ends of our world together with their willpower. Something ruptured this space with the power of its desire. Now, alone. you'll notice you do have an anchor up there, so you still have true sight on. Best way I can tell you, if you're looking right here, or if you're looking up at the very top tower, turn about 90 degrees, jump up here into this corner, grab this anchor up here, squeaked in the top, and we will continue on our way. A little bit more before we get to Beacon 2, so we're going to clear a few ads along the way. If they keep hopping over, you can shoot them while they hop. Jump up here, you'll have plenty of ads. I'm going to keep killing stuff with stasis as much as I can. Now you'll know we're in Barrier 2 territory, because these are not active yet. Usually a pretty good sign. Work our way up here. Time to shatter everything if I don't get set on fire first. And when you come up here part way, you can pick up safe passage, but you just might have to fight ads if you do. Hard to miss this one right here. Open this wall with the Agar Scepter. Come inside, you got another anchor waiting for you. And then we're going to head up to Beacon 2, clear that one out, and basically do everything else. Let's clear these ads first. No big deal. I do want to check the triumphs at this point before we clear Beacon 2. You guys come in here to the triumphs, you'll actually see we have all three memories already done. So you get all three memories in the first beacon. So if you don't have all three by the time you're coming to the second beacon, go back and check because that one should be done already. So now we're going to clear beacon two. See you guys on the other side. All right. So once you've cleared out beacon two, if you're facing it basically exactly where I, as I am, fairly close to it, and you can see... The tower for beacon number three over there. It literally turned about almost 90 degrees to your right. You see this big tree? Just kind of go right around it, and you'll see over here. Don't worry about that thing on my right. Here's true sight. And don't worry about the water mill. I am going to come back to it. You can jump through here. You probably don't need to refresh true sight since it lasts longer now. And we'll clear out the back. I love when things freeze. And here is another anchor. Grab that guy. And then you've got true sight to refresh. Now I would advise it. You can go two different directions. We're going to go down below first. And you're going to want Agar Scepter for this one. I almost walked too far because it's staring me in the face. When there is no platform, you have found the spot. Don't go too far and fall off the edge. Once again, nothing major in there. Jump on up. Now I would advise refreshing true sight just so you don't you know, run out of platforms on the way. That one's actually tucked over here. You can grab True Sight, get that refreshed. We're going to work our way around the corner. We're not going to go all the way down there. We're just going to grab this guy right here that's sitting in this tree trunk. And then jump back in, refresh it if you want safe platforms, just to be sure if you're not that fast of a jumper. Or you just want to make sure they don't disappear on you. Then from here, instead of going back the way we came, we're going to turn on Barrier Breach. Come back through here. And we're going to grab this one chest tucked in here. That's a trivial mystery. And you can keep that barrier breach on. Head right back in here. And we are back at Beacon 2. Same spot we were before. There we go. Alright, so after you made that quick little lap, we're back here at Beacon 1. We're going to go deal with that blight up on the hill. So if you're facing the beacon again, either way you want to work up to the top is fine. 
But as we come up here, you're going to see a blight. We need to take that out. And this is going to be the start of the Ascendant Mystery part or number two. So, Scepter works pretty well on this one. Taken infestations. And you'll notice like a cancer through the Taken Blights are going to spread all over the place. You're also going to see some more adds. So, you can fall down. There's not too many of them. Ad-wise, at least. Come down here, and you need to take out both of these. Depending on what ammo is readily available for you, use whatever works. Somehow that seems very inefficient for heavy ammo, but what are you going to do? Here's another Blight right here. There we go. And now you need to keep following basically the path we came. So you see those Blights over there? You can go that way, or there could just be some ads that want to get in your way. But you'll notice, you can head back that direction. So hop down here. Gonna have some ads. Might have to get a little mix up in here. If it gets a little spicy, be careful about uh, stuff trying to kill you. Take out the blight once again so you don't die on this platform. Be careful about stuff trying to kill you. And again, keep following these up in the sky. These are taking you where you need to go, but you can just follow where I'm going just as easily. Same thing. And if you want a little more safety, my advice, honestly, pull back. Don't go through the portal because you won't be able to get back down. But my advice, just do a lot of the work from back here that you can. Take some of these guys out pretty quick. Find the snipers first if it's possible. Most of this stuff will start going down pretty quick. If it's immune in the bubble, only so much you can do. But again, try and take out everything you can while it's outside of one of those bubbles and make your life easier. By the time you get down there, the load should be a little lighter. And also, if you stay up here long enough, they do tend to mosey out and want to try and hurt you. So then you have a pretty good chance. Now that most of that stuff's cleared, we can kind of touch the rock as we go. Take out these three. That's one. Clear these guys out. Watch for the ads as they come moseying out. There we go. This is blight number... I don't even know if it's like four or five. I'm losing track here. There's quite a few. And then number three. The source of this corruption All right, and as you can see, it wants us to go down the well. I'm going to grab just a little bit of ammo. Now is a good time to probably have your super ready. I'm not specifically going to use it. I'm just going to use my linear fusion rifle. But there's a big ogre down here that's going to get a little pushy. So my advice is it's a good time for a super. We're going to hop down the well, kill him with my linear... Use these rocks here as cover. As soon as you peek out and actually kind of spot you, he's going to get really aggressive. As I was saying, he gets a little pushy, quite literally. Got to find the ogre. Where are you going, bud? This is why linear fusion stacking that damage is a good thing. But this is why I also said just use a super. Like if I used my thunder crash right now, he would be very dead. Trying not to use a specific super, though, so you can use whatever you want. And just make sure all the ads are down. Cool. Now, the blight that you that was behind you when you entered the room is gone, but make sure you pick up the chest before you go. And this is actually your Ascendant Mystery chest number two. These wells once served as springs of ascendant energy. Used Nothing else back here. We'll do a quick U-turn. Now the cave is open. Now We're going to have a couple things to uh, take care of in this cave, as you'll see. One day. Perhaps Nothing too major, just a few ads. Again. Small stuff. One more. There it is. Alright, so in here, you can see we've got an anchor up here. Grab this. You can grab barrier breach. And if you kind of come around this corner here, hard to miss the big wall with just a chest inside. And then, instead of going up, which is one way to enter this room, we're going to go out the back. Still with Phase Breach on, now I'm going to grab True Sight. And we're going to head out the back way and climb up. Grab the Ascendant Anchor. Watch your True Sight timer because these platforms are going to be a little, little close. Probably going to have a group of ads out here. Not too big of a deal if you do. And I'm going to stop kind of right here, let the timers run out. 
is you're gonna have barrier breach which in theory would let you go down in where we were before which is fine but we came out of there so we're good so if you see barrier breach head to your left slowly unfortunately you are literally slowed the entire time you got two things you've got true sight and you've got field of strife so what I'm gonna do is take true sight that one lasts longer I'm gonna grab field of strife so I can get a little vertical and then start running up these platforms I don't know how high you have to get I had to come at this one a different way when safe passage didn't last as long but it's only like 20 seconds you got to be a little speedy but you got a little bigger margin of error here grab this enigmatic chest at the top make sure you got something to land on when you fall down as opposed to dying like I did anyway get back down to where we were before there's your safe passage and here's your true sight so now you can grab your true sight and we're gonna go on this very vertical climb up we are almost done so we're gonna be coming full circle here so in here you can grab true sight you can grab barrier breach I just tend to like have them both on we'll have a few ads right in here time to shatter up guys and grab this chest then if you come outside of the barrier and you turn right around here into the water wheel you can grab this one and then we are back after a little lap off the roof at beacon 2 and at this point all you gotta do head over here follow the lights take the little jump off the cliff like we did before always fun to do that as a titan I kinda have to clear out your ads try not to die and take your portal up to beacon 3 and that's it that's everything you got in here that will be every triumph every anchor I'm pretty sure every wall at this point I don't think I forgot anything ascendant mysteries and memory caches they are all done so that is shattered realm forest of echoes at this point run through there go beat the boss again because you need a lot of clears in this thing I believe I think there's speculation next week is going to start the legend difficulty I will try and do that on solo uh, as a solo runner so that can hopefully help you guys out and I'll do a couple other guides as we go also playing some new world so if you guys are enjoying my content please drop a like below um, if you guys have any anything that I missed hopefully I didn't this time but anything I missed please drop in the comments or if you just want to say hello I'll say hello back if you guys want to find me on Twitter it's at Ebontis for streaming you can find me on twitch.tv slash Ebontis where I recorded this one live or stream it on YouTube and then if you want to support me directly you can join the channel as a member with that join button or you can find me over on Patreon as well Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.